we will delve in deep to the advanced search feature. So what is the advanced search feature? The advanced search feature is a feature that aids you in narrowing or broadening your search based on your information need or based on what you are looking for. It actually enhances the specificity of the information you are looking for. So the advanced search feature can be located here on the Emerald landing page. So you click on it and see the interface. So this is the advanced search feature. It contains quite a lot there. You can see all Emerald content, general articles, book parts, case studies, early sites, and expert briefing. So let's take it that you want to search for only general articles. You can click this, then you can start your search. You can, what if maybe you want to search your any a, a part of a book? You can choose this, or if you want a combination of journal articles, book parts, and case study, you can select all three, or you can select all four, or you can select all of them, or better to select this. If you select this, it encaptures everything that you would want to search. Also, the search feature has this field where you can choose all fields. You can select by titles. You can see search article titles refers to the title of journal articles, keys, books, or book parts. You can set by the abstract. You can set by a contributor. So let's 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 demonstrate one here by searching by a contributor, for instance. So. I'll click on the contributor. Maybe you have an a contributor can also be an author. So you have an author in mind that you want to search, but you are searching specifically for a general article. So you can use this name to search. For instance, John Frank Fishen. You can one thing is that you can combine so let's say you know of two um authors that you want to search on you can add a rule and search that another contributor then you add the name half is so with this you can just go to the search button here so if you search, it displays the result for you here. That this this is the result you get. Only one result that you got. So you can see the names that you search: Hafiz Adams and John Frankenstein's name has been captured here. Okay. So let's this let's do another search, advanced search, by giving um, a date range. You can also add a date range. You know now most articles or publications request that you provide a date range of not less not more than five years it has been a trend now in case that you want you want a date range you can choose a date range for your search so let's say 2019 to 2024 you can still search using that you can choose the access type you can choose whether you want open access or only content that you have access to or you can choose all content. When you choose all content, you click it in the same search parameters. You can find your information here. So I'll also display another one using the title or using all fields. So all fields you can search by either keyword or you can search by title or even author. That's the all field picks all of them so let's say that you want to um, search for social media and students you want articles on social media which also include students so let's see social media and students but you want it within the age range of five years so that's 2019 to 2024 you can search it 
will this will display all content on social media and students so it means that it's a combination of social media and students so all articles or all book parts that has um, that has been published on emerald for social media and students so you can see that the relationship between social media based on teaching and academic performance during COVID. So you know when you see teaching, students is related. Effective social media addiction on reading practices. A survey of undergraduate students in China. So this is a combination of both keywords. So what if you want to search for a, a more advanced one? The Boolean end operator. We have three options. We have the end, or, and not. So the end operator is actually used to narrow a search. So let's say you want all articles, general articles on, which has the key term social media and students in your in your search within the date range of 2019 to 2024. So we've, we've declared our query here then we click on search so when you search you see that the result is over 21,000 results that you had from that search and all of them are general articles the exact number of articles available to you is what 21,387 so let's also display results for the all operator and let's compare them so using the all operator, the all operator is actually used to broaden your search. For instance, you want um, general articles on either social media or students. So it will give you all general articles which has the social media key term and also and also general articles which has, which has student key term, the key term in it or the keyword in it. So we've declared our search query. Let's click on search and let's see. So you can see that this one displays a result of what? Over 56,000 as compared to the over 21,000 that we searched earlier. So you can see all these results are all what article based on what you need. So they are all articles, all articles. They are all articles based on the search query you inputted in it. It also displays the number of downloads each article has received. It actually helps in you um, evaluating whether the article is of good substance or not. Because the number of downloads sometimes actually says that okay this article has been downloaded by, dead by quite a number of people it means that the topic it talked about is actually very important so it can aid you in the research you are doing emerald provides a very wide range of resources for information seekers students and faculty members you can even select a search for information based on subjects by going to the browse our content, the books and journals that you would want, you can you can select, you can look for information based on the alphabetical order of the title. You can select by the subject. So let's say you want to select by select a uh, search by subject area. You choose engineering. You see the books and journals available at the engineering. So you can see this one is actually a conference proceeding on construction economics and organization and these are the editors you can see the subject area is what engineering industrial engineering design and manufacturing so you can also select a subcategory so let's say you've chosen engineering and you want mechanical engineering you can select mechanical engineering and to also display all results based on what mechanical engineering you can select the journal that you would want to know about mechanical so this is actually displaying in mechanical engineering resources information resources that you can find so these are what journals aircraft in, and aerospace engineering anti-corrosion methods and materials so as i said earlier 
um, Emerald provides a wide range of resources and it's very it's multidisciplinary so it means that it contains a lot of subject areas as I said earlier you can see uh, accounting finance education health and social care HR and organizational behavior information and knowledge management it has quite a wide range of information that would be helpful to anyone in the academic field so our advice each and each one of us to hop on to emerald and assess all these contents available there thank you